and everything in the description box and how long it took me you know the whole process is going to take i'm definitely going to vlog it so that's what i i'll be doing today hope you guys are having an amazing day don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it all right uh subscribe down below and join this family we're almost at 2k5 which is huge so huge right so uh yeah i'll see you guys as soon as i get to the side bye guys right so i made it to the salon and i'm using two packs of lush hair today for um my hair i mean this is not my first time using lush hair i've used it before i love it because it's lightweight but apparently this particular ones i got i think they're fake because i got them in the salon right here um one of them in particular was like very very um um difficult for them to detangle like it was it, it just felt like rubber like real rubber like it wasn't smooth it wasn't like it wasn't really looking cute at all but yeah so that was the issue with the the extension right so i had two girls on my hair one of them would start the um not less braid and she would you know weave it up to half and the other girl would finish it um so we continued doing this until we got to the middle part where she was going to do a uh, ghana weaving in the middle and uh yeah i wanted loose chunky um not really really chunky shall maybe like medium size um not just braids but i didn't quite think that it got the loose braids because i've done loose braids before and it looked beautiful um but yeah i think they did a good job Sha. overall <laughs> keep on watching right Thank you. 
right so at this point she's dipping all the braids inside this big bucket of hot water and this part wasn't funny at all i felt like my scalp was going to burn uh you can see she's actually holding the kettle with one hand and using pouring it in, as in this was just so risky and uh, me, i was just scared and praying god slop water out my body <laughs> so she got this um towel to you know start to detangle and as soon as that happened the heat listen to me can you please find it jesus take 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 away the quick gist here yeah. you're in nigeria right now you know that there's four scarcity in the uk so i got to the salon and there was no light i mean when i came the day before to make inquiry i saw them wearing somebody's hair inside the heat i mean there was no light so i'm like ah she when i come tomorrow you will not no she said no 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 put on the gym for you and all of that don't worry so i came home they started my hair the madam started telling me to give them one thousand naira to go and buy for I was like, what? Is this a part of my bill? Why should I even be sitting here and making my hair? Like, shouldn't you have calculated everything it would cost you to make my hair? You're giving me a price and I was willing to pay. So apparently, I gave them about 7,000 naira for this hair, plus the attachment and everything, right? The attachment was like 1,700 for one. I got two packs, right? So that's like, what, how many thousand? 3,000 for? That's like a lot of money. So you should have added money for a foil, you know, instead of putting your clients inside a, a hot office, like your store is hot and you're making my hair and I'm uncomfortable, I'm sweating. Okay, you know what? So she, bagged, she was like, okay, why don't you just bring 500 there? I will add our own 500. I was like, no, I'm not bringing any money. You better put on the gel now, I'll work out. So they put on the gel for like 20, 20 minutes. Then she told them to put it off that, ah, auntie, please, we'll put it on later when your hair is almost done. That was a lie. <laughs> Nigerians like it's not easy doing business here and I understand but I will not come here again because I didn't think the service was great they were just managing everything they were using on me at this point I was asking them for a styling mousse for them to add to the hair so it can dry faster and everything and they told me they it ran out like they don't have any more I'm like so what do people now have because I don't get it like do you understand but <laughs> yeah so that was my experience at this salon uh, as you can tell from my face, I was already displeased with the service and everything. I just wanted to finish and get out of the salon. Like, I don't tire. <laughs> so I asked them for accessories. They told me this thing is like three for 50 naira. So I'm like, okay, just put it on one side and let me go. I don't want it everywhere. So I don't want to be looking tacky or whatnot. <laughs> yes. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you really liked it. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts about it. And hopefully the next time I visit a salon, I will get good experience, a better service. And uh, I'll also come here and share my, <laughs> my experience with you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't. Subscribe down below. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.